All right, so this is just more of a test than anything else, really. I don't know if this is going to work or not. Um, this is the Ghost Pour mix, and then this is just the Augustlaw Flow Acrylic Black mixed 2 to 1 flow trawl to paint. And I'm going to take those two and do layers and do kind of a straight pour. I want to see if I get that cloudy effect in the straight pour itself. And because of the nature of this, I'm not sure if it's going to work or not. I hope it does. I feel like the idea in my head is it's an interesting idea, just whether or not it works will be another matter. So I'm just going to layer the cup. Now I'm not using much white because I do want the white to be more of an accent when it comes out. I do not want the white to be like the entire piece. But then again, I also do want to see the white. So we'll see how it comes out. All right, well, maybe I'll do like a little spin as I pour kind of thing. Well, that's pretty cool. Ooh. That's really cool. coming out surprisingly they're kind of rising to the surface a little bit that's pretty interesting I wasn't expecting it to look as wispy as that that's kind of crazy looking So once the stream's getting pretty thin, we will stop it. A little bit of a drip. And then I'm gonna let these clouds develop. Look at that. That's crazy looking. I do have more black paint, so I could put that around the edges to try to help it flow better. And yeah, but look, those clouds, they just keep expanding. That's really cool looking. Alright, leave this black paint out there. That's cool. I feel like the ghost pour and the cloud pour are pretty close to the same consistency. Like the same chemicals, same mix. So it shouldn't surprise me that they do similar things, right? I do like what it's doing right now though. It looks really cool. Yeah, that's really interesting looking. Just very, very bubbly. And I know when we stretch it, because right now there's a ton of paint on the canvas, when we stretch it, it's gonna spread out. I think we should just stretch it. I'm, I'm too excited to see what it's gonna turn into. Ooh. Well, that's wicked cool. Oh man, yeah. Wow. <laughs> okay. I like that. 
we're getting a bunch of white spots everywhere almost like the paints are just trying to push through and that's really interesting it's a very different look that's really cool i am going to stretch it one more time just because there's still a lot of paint but yeah these cells are really different Dang. That's really cool looking actually. And it's a very simple pour. I'm getting some really cool uh, effects. I love how wispy that, that white mix is. That looks so awesome. Well, let me bring you guys down so you can check this thing out. I think it looks really cool. So I wasn't expecting all the tiny little cells and clouds and wispy lines. And it almost looks like folded ropes going through the center. Like a braided rope, kind of. But it's got some really cool textures and effects on the inside.